Hello everyone. The question mentioned in front of you is a program reads three numbers A, B, C with the range 1, 50 and prints the largest number. Design test cases for this program using equivalence class testing technique. Now, the range for these three numbers 1 to 50 and second point they have mentioned print the largest number. So for this we need to test the test cases for the program using equivalence testing technique. Right. So we will just understand the solution in which first what we will do we will partition the domain of input as valid input values and invalid values. Fine. So we have just written 1 to 9 test classes and the classes are A, B, C ranging from 1 to 50. So we have chosen first letter as A that is for I1, for I2 we have chosen B and for I3 we have considered C. So we have written three valid cases that A, B, C are ranging from 1 to 50. Right, and for that we have mentioned less than equal to it means A is either 1, either 50 or in between 1 to 50. So I1, I2, I3 are the valid test classes. Then I4 to I9 are the invalid test classes. Right, now we can understand invalid C for I4 A is less than 1. So that is not valid. That is the boundary condition between A to 50. So we have written I4 as A is less than 1. I5 A is greater than 50. Similarly I6 B is less than 1. I7 B is greater than 50. I8 C is less than 1 and I9 C is greater than 50. Fine. Now once we have uh, done with the test classes we will consider the test cases. So here is the table which we can write test cases. Now you may, re you may raise the question sir why we have written 1 to 7 why not 1 to 5 why not 1 to 10 we will understand one by one. We have just written test case id columns a b c expected result classes covered by the test case. We have mentioned the id number 1 we have randomly chosen the numbers 13, 25, 36 in which C is the greatest. Fine. You can take A as greatest, B as greatest, any number as greatest. So here we have mentioned 36 that means C is the greatest. A and B are ranging between 1 to 50. It means the first test case is valid and that covers three classes I1, I2 and I3. Fine. For this we will just check the classes again. See I1, I2 and I3. These three classes are covered. Fine. Then for second one we have considered A less than 1 that is 0 and that is invalid input even though B and C are correct but still the combination of this three was invalid so we have written classes covered by the test case I4 third one A is greater 50 rest two are in the range of 1 to 50 but still the combination of this three is invalid and the test case is I5 classes covered is I5. Then fourth one as we have considered A is less than A is greater than then we will consider B is less than B is greater than right. So A is less than uh, 1 A is greater than 50 similarly B is less than 1 and B is greater than 50. You can consider 60, 67, any number you wish to consider more than 50. So again this is invalid and which covers I6 and I7. And last 
c is less than 1 c is greater than 1 uh, greater than 50 so this covers classes i8 and i9 i9 so these test cases are 1 to 7 fine so we have covered all the classes so what we have to consider we have to keep in mind that test case, test case ids are depend upon classes covered by the test case so you have to cover every test case here fine now second part of this same answer is we can derive another set of equivalence classes based on some possibilities so very simple we have considered first three possibilities by keeping one alphabet constant as i1 a is greater than b a is greater than c i2 b is greater than a b is greater than c and i3 c is greater than a c is greater than b fine then i4 i5 i6 and i7 in which i4 i5 i6 here we have considered one is uh, equal to another one and the one first one is not equal to the third one right so a is equal to b a is not equal to c again for the second one b is equal to c a is not equal to b and for the third a is equal to c and c is not equal to b fine and final class i7 shows all three are equal considering this we can easily write the test case ids now here you may raise questions sir why only four so we will understand in the first part i have already cleared the test case ids totally depend upon classes covered by the test cases if we covered all we should stop the id so for first id what we have considered as 25 bs 13 and cs 13 so it clearly indicates b and c are same so we will just check the test classes where b and c are same is i5 right b and c are same is i5 so we have written i5 here and a is greatest that is 25 a is greatest so that covers i1 so we have written here i1 similarly second we have considered a and c are equal so we will check a and c are equal so that is i6 we have written here i6 fine and the b is greatest so we have written i2 as b is greatest similarly a and b are equal so a and b are equal is i4 so we have written here i4 and c is greatest so we have written here is i3 and for final test case id it is very easy that we have not covered i7 here here we have covered i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 and i6 so left one is i7 so to consider the class i7 we should write all three are equal so we have chosen 25 25 25 sir can we choose 30 yes you can choose 30 35 the number must be between 1 to 50 or 1 or 50 right as per the conditions given so we will go back to question again here ends the solution what was the question a program reads three numbers a b and c with the range 1 comma 50 and prints the largest number present the test cases for the program using equivalence class testing technique fine here you can consider two alphabets a b or four alphabets a b c d and you can change the range you can change the range 1 to 50 1 to 100 1 to 200 as per your convenience but practice at least one or two different numbers and different ranges i hope you understood this problem please do comment if you understood 
this question and answer very clearly and if you have any doubts please do mention the doubts in the comment box thank you so much